Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a genuine homegrown superstar, Danny Minogue. Tonight's inductee into the TV Week Hall of Fame started life as a new drama called Refuge, commissioned by Channel 7 in 1987 for a run of just 20 episodes. But now, 28 years and over 6,000 episodes later, Home and Away is a must-see TV for over 50 million people all around the world. <laughs> In Israel, it's known as Near and Far, and in Hungary, it's known as Otonut. Well, that's what I heard on Google when I looked it up this morning. Uh, when I was on the show, I remember asking the producers if in winter we could wear a bit more clothing, you know, like some shoes or a, a top, not just a bikini. And I was told, definitely, it is always summer in Summer Bay. And years later, when I was living in London during a bitter cold winter, I realised just one part of the drama's huge global success. Bikinis. It's launched the career of some of the biggest names in the business. The show and its cast have earned over 40 Logie Awards between them, while taking us through a roller coaster of births, deaths, marriages, of fights, floods and fires, of plane crashes, sieges, earthquakes, and oh so many broken hearts. Like the song says, from the very first moment I saw you, I never felt such emotion. For nearly three decades, Home and Away has given us all this and so much more. It's a great privilege to welcome to the TV Week Hall of Fame, Home and Away! I'm so proud of what we do. Like we've produced two and a half hours of television a week. It's been going for 28 years. You know, we're doing something right. Oh, it's got a good feeling about it, this place. Donald Fisher. Yeah. Oh, but crying out loud, woman, there's people out there with a river running through their flaming hours. Of course the party's off. I think what makes the show so special is the heart and soul of it. You know, I, I think we've stayed very true to the, the core of the show, you know. It's about relationships and, and families and love and, and the community. Add a little bit of drama, add amazing backdrop of Palm Beach. And I think that's what makes it special. So tell me when it kicks in. This is for my brother. Births, deaths and marriages. Weddings, everybody loves a wedding. I think I've been married a thousand times. I feel like I have won the acting lotto. We have had mudslides. We've had people falling down mine shafts. We've had plane crashes. We've had uh, bus crashes. There is nothing that Summer Bay cannot handle. Someone should go and get mine. It's, it's, it's all right. There's nothing Summer Bay can't handle. I'm going to get this cat in there, you get in there, be safe. If a character on a TV show is going to make a young girl in her lounge room at 7 o'clock each night feel better about her life and feel more confident about going to school the next day, I reckon that's a pretty Pretty good job. That's gold. <laughs> Get out of there, you flaming mongrel! Strike me roan. Now, I don't even know what roan is. I suspect it's a colour. For God's sake, woman, why do you keep protecting this dropkick? He says what he thinks. <laughs> I didn't saw my fat aunt. You're limping. Oh, stone the flaming crows. <laughs> That flaming Galar's got no idea how lucky he is to have you looking after his back. Now you listen to me, young man. Having a character like Alf Stewart that continues to be on Home and Away is, is wonderful because it shows that the heart of the show is really important and, it, and it's still there. The cast and crew are one big family. We all just, uh, you know, are there for each other. Yeah, there is a lot of love and we all take pride in, in what we're doing and we all want the best for the show. Raymar says that we are the caretakers of the show and we are looking after it to pass on to the next generation. Hush. Don't shush me, Ailes. I'm not putting our marriage at risk for some kid you don't even know. Good day. It's been a launching pad for so many great Australian actors. I'll meet you down on the beach. 
this way. Okay. <laughs> Kill you? What would I do without you? I'm gonna make you the most romantic, nicest dinner you've ever had. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Uh, you're the policeman, aren't you? <gasps> what happened? Did you just go crazy for a couple of weeks or something? You're me. Mm -hmm. Yes, Home and Away has been a fantastic springboard for them, and I think the work ethic is everything. Yeah, come up to Taylorville, I'll show you around. Yeah, we're, we're very proud of it. I'm still waiting for, you know, Woody Allen to read. I'll get a job, I'll find somewhere to live. I'm just gonna... <sighs> I guess Home and Away does look like it's a guaranteed audition for Hollywood. Yeah, we've had a lot of success. You look at Chris Hemsworth, Isla Fisher, Naomi Watts, Ryan Quanton, the list is endless. We must mention Belinda Emmett, and working with Belinda was an enormous pleasure, and she was such a delightful girl and so talented. And um, yeah, we, we miss her terribly. Home and Away, on its own, is a wonderful place to be, and a wonderful show to work on and say, that was my career. When I see you again, we've come along. If I never did anything again, Home and Away, quite possibly the greatest thing I'll ever do, in my heart. Ladies and gentlemen, Raymar. I don't think they could keep them off stage, really. Um, so as quick as you can, guys. There's only 300 of them, it won't take long. <laughs> uh, what an absolute honour this is. This show, uh, this is the 28th year rather, that this show has been invited to the Logies. And so far, either the show or people in it have won 42 Logies. That's up to date tonight so far. <laughs> We're still hoping there might be another one out there a little later, but you never know. But none of those Logies have been more important to us than this one. This Logie honours and acknowledges everyone who's ever had anything to do with the show. All 7,000 of them. <laughs> So if you'd just like to loosen your ties, uh, get as comfortable as you possibly can in the room, I'd just like to run quickly through those 7,000 names. <laughs> I promise it won't take as long as Scotty Cam's acceptance speech last year. <laughs> um, actors get plenty of recognition and they do work hard, but they know that if they're involved in a couple of big storylines, then they'll have a quiet week or even a quiet month. In fact, not so long ago, I remember having a quiet decade. But for the crew on a show like ours, the work is unrelenting, both in studio and on location. So, boys and girls, this is for you. Yeah. It's, it's, it's also for everyone in the production office, in post-production, for writers, directors, editors. It's for the art department, makeup, wardrobe, publicity and promos. It's also for the incredibly talented actors that accept guest roles on our show. Actually, uh, this is for a lot of people. You wouldn't have a couple more of these out there, would you? <laughs> no, don't worry, we'll just make this one work harder. We, uh, we wouldn't be here tonight if Channel 7 hadn't taken the risk and put up the money to make a pilot in 1987. When the show first went to air in 1988, it wasn't an immediate runaway success, but instead of axing the show, Seven supported it with advertising and promotional dollars until it found an audience. And that proved to be a pretty good decision. Since then, at worst, the show has had very solid ratings in Australia and won its time slot more often than not. And of course, it's been sold to well over 100 countries around the world. So a big thank you to Channel 7 for loving the show as much as we do. 
Thank you also to TV Week for its ongoing support and for acknowledging home and away with this honour. And finally, a huge thank you to all you at home. You've watched us now for nearly three decades and we really appreciate it. Without you, we haven't got a show. In fact, we probably haven't got a job. <laughs> so thank you for keep, keeping so many people off the streets for so long. <laughs> We're both honoured and humbled. Thank you very much.